YouTube. It's me, Jan, your pudgy picker, here with an awesome, and you saw it in the title, I have a new record for garage sales. Who thought it would have been garage sale season 2022? Nobody. Nobody would have thought it was this year because it's been so slow. There's literally been weeks where there's less than five. I didn't even bother going out. So this is from 59 garage sales. Oh, my record was 56. If you remember from, I think it was two summers ago. Yeah, you'll have to go back. Maybe if I remember, I will link the video down in the description box. But I wanted to show you what it is like to bring all this in and set it up. Now, I've, I've joked about doing a speed setup and like, hey, let me show you how I how I do it. And that day is today. So let's start with how long and how I set this all up. So cue the bean footage. <laughs> So if you're wondering, that was almost 13 minutes it took me to set all this stuff up. So I was curious because I knew it was a lot of things. So let me just show you, I just finished setting it up and here's my reusable bags. Um, I've told you about the store, we have marks, but these are really big, really sturdy bags. I carry them in my car. I have them, I open them up one at a time and start filling them and then when I get home, I could just carry them in like you saw at the beginning of the speed video. So there's that pile. And then of course, everybody's like, hey, do you want a bag? You want a bag? You want a bag? <laughs> and my neighbor uses them for picking up after his doggy. So these will probably go to him, but look at that. So I just kind of throw the reusable or the, you know, the plastic ones over here. I throw these here. 
and I moved this to be my camera stand. I'm, I'm glad uh, somebody waited to get up there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that is how it all got set up. So now, do you want to see the actual goodies that I got? Let's start with a few things that are not on the table. Yes, I have bought and sold these before. I love them, especially when I can find them brand new in the box for, what, five bucks? So it's this kitchen utensil clock. How cool is that? I don't think it has a price or where it was from previously. I did find one top. It has a built-in necklace, which I'm probably going to take out. Three-quarter sleeves, like a knot tied at the sleeve, and it's got like a hanky hem. It's a little longer on the sides, a little shorter on the front and back. So I will be rocking that this fall. Like I said, three-quarter sleeves. We're almost at that time. I think next week it's supposed to be high in the, in the mid to high 60s. So I'm all about that life. And then the other items that I didn't put on the table because of no room were these really cool metal tiles. They were $3 each. And they are the same thing. So I do not think I'm going to sell them as a set if they were you know, slightly different than I might consider, but uh, $6 for those. Let's start on this end of the table. So look at this, all this, I got some vintage goodies, I got some new goodies, I got some things I've had as a kid, and a few things for me, not much, not much at all. <laughs> I got this absolutely gorgeous tiger framed print. It is like fabric. Isn't that cool? So he's kind of got a three-dimensional look to him. There's the maker's mark on the corner. I love the bamboo frame. It has a few little condition issues, but nothing we can't juge. Three dollars. Not sure how much those go for. I know it is a vintage print, so I'll have to do my research and decide how much I want to put on that, but that will probably go to my booth. I'll hang it by my Asian shelf. I found this very cool vanity tray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Never seen it with the with the kind of the hard, I don't know, that feels like plastic to me. But $4 for a cool vanity tray. It's not particularly old. Maybe, eh. you know what? This whole, I think it's old, it's not old. Yeah, so that's probably from the 70s. So yeah, it's old. It's vintage, okay? I'm vintage. <laughs> So $4, I got this all-white fox for $3. Oh, what, sir, are you doing? What are you doing, sir? I'm not sure what we're doing. Inky, what are you doing? We're doing our own thing today. Um, I've picked these up before. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've sold them before. This was one of my last finds of the day. Uh, I think she said $3. I do have to touch up uh, Mr. Kennedy's nose, or President Kennedy, I should say, with all due respect. So I have some bronze. I will see if I can juge that. But I got up to the front, and she said 3 And I said, oh, okay. And the lady goes, give it to her for a dollar. She's been to a lot of garage sales today. <laughs> so that's why I remember it was one of my last stops of the day. Found a puzzle. Pretty cool. I might uh, work this, and maybe my son... And his soon-to-be wife, <laughs> probably by the time you see this, they'll be married. Oh, I can't believe it's that close. Game Trove Puzzle. They're into doing puzzles like I am. So I think we'll just do that. It won't take very long to do that. And uh, I'll give it to him to work. Um, I have this little pot. And I'm thinking I'm going to use it for a lucky bamboo. Because when I picked it up, when I was setting it up, it's like, whoops. So it's completely glazed. You have to make sure they're glazed inside and out. So I might just repurpose that little, I don't know, little succulent plant that's in there. But for a dollar, that was a good pickup. Um, I kind of have it buried, but you can kind of see it. This adorable little wooden stool. I'm probably not going to do a thing with it because I think it's beautiful just the way it is. Uh, it was two older ladies running this sale, and I said, oh, how much for the little stool? I didn't even pick it up. I don't want to show too much interest. She goes, ah, a dollar. I said, I'll go get it. <laughs> so definitely a good deal on that. Uh, these items, I think, were bought at, at least these three items, were at a garage sale where it was a couponer. Um, I got some off-brand uh, 
dryer sheets and I am having some bad stay at a cling, honey, and I don't like it. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to pick up a couple of name brand ones and use them again. So $1.50 for 40. Um, this duct tape with the cactus on it is very cute. That was a dollar. My daughter likes these uh, and she's gonna be moving out soon and she will be renting. So of course she can't put stuff in the walls. So she likes to hang up posters and stuff. So this Loctite Fun Tack is very good for that. It doesn't leave a residue. You just stick it up there. It doesn't damage if you have a poster or whatever. So these two packages were 50 cents each, which is a very good price. Coffee mug says Frosted Donut. That was $2. I think these were all at the same sale, but that's adorable. The Big Mouth mugs, they're novelty mugs. It's a gag gift more than anything else. So that will go out to my booth. Just love this little beehive with the bees. It is a metal watering can. I think it's, I don't know if it works or not, uh, but it's more for decoration. I will probably save that until next summer, I'm thinking, but I think I paid seven for that. But I had other stuff in my hands and it was just like, you know what? So I think I, I paid a little more than I wanted to on that. So meaning I'm going to have to charge a little more than I want to, but somebody will adore it. I got a dog. I think it was only 50 cents. I'm always picking up dog and cat and other animal figurines. Andrea by, uh, by Saddle, made in Japan. So of course, if I'm not sure, I'll look that up before it goes anywhere. Um, I got this little uh, metal turtle. Isn't he adorable? I went to pick him up and guess what? You can hide stuff in him. Put your key in there, set him outside. He's adorable, $3. Love these lamps. I think she wanted, 15 for both of them and I was looking to do lower and I said oh okay I'll think about it and she like kept following me so I ended up paying I think seven dollars for both so I'm probably gonna sell those as a set uh, they are exactly the same um, I have not tried to make sure that they work but as long as everything's where it should be Mr. Pudgy Picker can finagle that for me he can do the wiring if need be love this chest Love the fact that it was $5. Uh, it's got these adorable little little pulls. Decent sized drawers. So if you actually wanted to use this for actual storage rather than just, isn't that pretty? I mean, you could do little votive candles in there, little tea lights. You could sort anything you want. Love the colors. It's got like a real muted, like rusty red and a real muted like greenish blue. It's very pretty. So $5. That should go in my booth for close to 20. People love like card catalogs and, and you know drawers, little drawers in, in cabinets. So that's where that will go. Now, tell me if you remember these books. Um, I did not have these books as a child, but my kids did. <laughs> Let me get to a page here. I'll see what year. I think it was 88 when I looked before. Yeah, 88 by Joe Barry. And this is, you know, when it's like, hmm, let's see, the kids have been misbehaving today. What subject should we pick out? We have being careless, uh, disobeying, being selfish, and look at the stack. I didn't even count them. So I was very happy to get these. I'm probably going to sell them as a set. Um, I can't, I don't even know. It's a two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 forts. There's oh, close to 30 there, which is awesome. So uh, my kids will remember these from their childhood, definitely. So I said, how much for the books? He said $3. And I thought, oh, $3 a piece. I said, oh, each? And he goes, no, no, for the whole stack. And I said, oh, okay, I'll take them. And he goes, yeah, somebody was just here and I told them $3 and they just looked at me like it was too much. I go, no, 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 three is more than reasonable. As on the inside, I'm jumping up and down. So I will definitely do some research. So those will most likely be an eBay item. Uh, what else? This is really cool. If you ever see these and you don't know what they are, sometimes you'll find it without this metal part, but this is an ashtray. And it looks, it has a real metal look to it, but it is ceramic. So sometimes you'll find them without this bracket. So sometimes if you see them and you're like, I have no idea what that was for, that's what it is. It's an ashtray. Got this flat, you know, uh, glass metal with the cups. Q 
cute by my coffee area. I think I only paid, what, two bucks for those? Two dollars for that, so that'll be pretty good. That will go in my coffee area. These, I laughed because they had a huge box <clears throat> of a ton of these, and it said 25 cents each. My daughter loves these non-slip socks. I don't know why. So I picked them up, and the lady goes, oh, you're going to buy some of my socks, huh? And I go, my daughter loves these. She goes, my daughter loves them, too. And anytime anybody has a procedure, she makes them bring some home. So that's why I'm selling them at my garage sale. I said, well, my daughter will enjoy these. So, yeah, they got the nice grippers on there. So there's two of those. I got some stir sticks, um, palm trees, and flamingos. So I will probably wound those up into two different packages and then sell them. Um, I had a ton for the longest time, and I kept moving them around in my booth, and they finally sold. So these will go out and uh, hang out in some of the uh, drink, like, you know, alcoholic drink glasses that I have in my man area. Um, always looking for scrap paper, but these are just too adorable. They're different, uh, different designs. So I think I got the whole stack for a buck. That's pretty good. These are kind of cool. They are wooden carved elephant napkin rings. Look at that. So there's only four of them, but they're so cute. I think somebody will adore those. So of course, again, I will look those up online, but they may just go in my booth. I'll put them on my uh, African shelf. They'll do just fine. Love the old vintage fly swatter. So you can kill them with a heart. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Wonder how many millions of lives have been killed by this. Looks like it has a little stitch issue on the bottom. I'll whip stitch that just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I don't even know how much those go for. I, I've never, I think I, I've seen them, but I've never bought one to resell. So that's, I guess, my qualifier there. So there's that. Let me see. I know I always miss stuff, so I'm trying to be extra, extra careful. I got this little sign that says Farm Fresh, Home Sweet Farm. That will go in my little farm area. It was only 50 cents. I'm trying to kind of steer away from some of that kind of stuff that looks really, oh, look, it looks old, but it was made, and it was sold for $3, and now I'm trying to peddle it for 8 So I'm kind of backing off of some of these, but that was just too adorable. And, you know, if I only paid 50 cents, I may only charge like 5 bucks for that. So people will be happy to have it. Uh, this is a Dell monitor, and I got that for free, because free is my favorite price. Uh, it was on a free table, and I brought it home to my hubby, and he's going to plug it in and see if it works. Hopefully it does. We have a few, uh, if we can't use it or store it or give it to someone who can use it, um, there's a few uh, programs that we can donate it to for people who don't have access to a computer. So that will be awesome for that. The best wines are the ones we drink with our friends. So $5, you got a cork cage, and then we have these horrible, horrible twist off. Oh, shouldn't even be in there. <laughs> so yeah, so that will go into my booth. These always do really well. The box ones don't do quite as well as the cage ones, but they still sell. So definitely that will go out. Um, this I only paid a dollar. It's very pretty. But of course, it is matches. So this would be pretty to have by your fireplace to light a fire and it'll look nice at the same time. This I think is older. I don't know how old it is, but it says GB and Sun Seed. And it is a, uh, a little bird feeder. Isn't that adorable? So I was showing, I picked it up and the lady was like, Oh, uh, you could probably paint it or, or do this or do that. I said, no, it's beautiful just the way it is. And she just laughed. She goes, well, great. Enjoy it. So I'm not sure about that. Um, that would probably go out to my booth. Um, that might be a good winter item to bring out because people um, don't normally feed the birds that much around here in the summer. I haven't been putting my... Uh, my uh, suet cake out. I try to do it when they're more scarce food, you know? Um, so that was a whole tangent, but I got a couple signs. Yeah, I've been backing off the signs too. You, me, and the dogs. I love that one. And then uh, I think I, how much did I pay for that one? Oh, I paid a dollar for that one. What does it say? Pet collection. Um, and this one was a dollar. All you need is love and a dog. And then this one for $2, it says, 
Why do they want dinner every single night? Amen. <laughs> so I thought that was adorable. Um, I got this vintage cat. I wonder if he had another cat with him at one point, but he was a buck. And he is Japan. Yep. So again, anything that looks older, if I'll uh, look it up, if it's not worth a certain amount and the shipping and all that, then I will just tuck it away um, and take it out to my booth. I have a lot of dogs out there now, but not a lot of cats. So this cat will probably go out right away. These are heavy as all get out. <laughs> they are cement. Um, they are gnomes. They had a couple that were poorly painted and I was like, no, I like the natural ones better. So the one on the left has a bunny and the one on the right has a fawn. And these will probably go out into my booth. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how much. I'm just, I've been setting this up and I've been working in my house and getting stuff done. So I haven't given any thought to how much I'm going to price most of this. And I know I like to give you that price, but not today. This adorable $2 birdhouse is out of a big bamboo. And I just love the thatched roof on that. Very cute. So that will probably go out to my booth. Yes, I got a stack of magazines and these were free. Because again, my favorite price is free. It wasn't too eh, about the good housekeeping ones, but they have some uh, country living ones, which I like. I have done away with all of my magazine subscriptions. I think I only have like maybe one or two that are still finishing up. So if I see magazines for free, I'll grab them. I started to pick out just the country ones, and there was only maybe four of the good housekeeping, and it's in a stack of free, and I'm like, I have so many garage sales, I'm not going to stand here debating <laughs> over free magazines. Just grab the whole stack. So that's what I did. Um, if you know what this is, you know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, because this is for me. What are you doing? He's a, he's a crazy animal. This is a Tupperware item. And this is one of the best inventions on the planet. Because we are a pickle household. You could do pickles. You could do anything in this. But if you have anything that's in juice, you just lift it up. So you're not like doing this and you have your whole hand in the pickle jar. Nobody wants to see that. And if you get it in there and try to get one out, good luck getting your hand out. <laughs> So I think I paid $5 for that, which is a little more than I wanted to pay, but I wanted it and I haven't found one. It's one of those, if you are, if you are a reseller and, and, and tell me out in the comments if you believe this is true, whenever you have a running list of things you want, things that you're kind of looking for if you're a reseller and you just kind of have this running list in your head and this was on a list for something I wanted for me and figures I got it basically on probably the last good garage sale day of the year. Um, the gnomes I got, the fox I got, uh, comes with pine needles. <laughs> He's pretty dirty, but he is adorable. That would be so cute sitting outside. So I think I paid two for him and five each for these guys. Because I think, you know, you go to some garage sales and they have this big elaborate system and then they end up, you know, oh, we need the tags, that's Susie's and that's Barb's and... Uh, so whatever, so I paid, again, uh, five and then I think two or three for him. Not too bad. I'm gonna sit down so I can get up close and personal. This is really cute. And again, if you don't know what it is, it is to put your glasses on. It's like a little glasses stand that looks like the, what do you call them? The, 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 the yeah, the heads on Easter Island, <laughs> sorta. So that I'm going to clean up with my wood restorer, the Howards, and put that in my booth. Um, I got a cross-stitch kit. Uh, this one, I think they originally, I don't know, it was clearance for 11, I don't know. I picked it up and I was kind of dusting it off because it's it's been a little bit banged up, but everything's sealed. I said, oh, how much for the kit? And he goes, oh, how about a dollar? I'm like, well, okay. So this is a pretty intricate one, so I think that it should do well. I don't know what year is on it. Um, let me see. Does anybody know? I don't know, and you probably don't care. But yeah, that's at least, I'd say 10, 15 years old. Um, I gotta, I've been loving some of these uh, plastic trays that you get for the fridge. I am such an organizing freak and I love having things 
you know, in a certain way. And uh, some of the containers I've been finding are so big. So this is a perfect size. I could put some yogurts or something in there. Uh, awesome, awesome. I did get some brand new uh, salt and pepper shaker. They're basic. I have been selling salt and pepper shakers like there's no tomorrow. I, I, I have no idea what's going on. In one day, I sold probably 12 pairs, and my sister sold, you know, probably eight or nine. It was crazy. So we had a lot we were kind of holding on to and waiting, so we've been really putting them out and filling them in. But uh, these can go, and then these were a dollar. Very pretty. They don't have a plug. I do have some replacement plugs I bought on Amazon. They're pretty universal and they're kind of squishy, so they fit just about anything. So I paid a dollar for those, and I think I paid a dollar for these as well. But this container, I don't think I paid more than a dollar for this. Um, I have ice in my fridge, but I didn't have a scoop. I need out a scoop, so I don't know. It's pretty sturdy. You know, you think, oh, you're going to get plastic. Uh, but it's really thick and sturdy, so that was 50 cents. We'll see how long it takes me to bust that. And then I occasionally sell these in my coffee or tea area. Uh, it's a little uh, a little tea bag. Whoops, and there's how it comes apart. Those are, I think, 50 cents each. And you don't want that to happen. You know what? Uh, Asian cultures, and especially China, I know, and when I've gone for authentic Chinese food, they don't, you don't have a tea ball, you don't have a tea bag, they put it straight in the hot water. And then when it's kind of done brewing, if you like it strong, leave them in there. And when you pour, all the leaves stay on the bottom, just a hint. And that's how I usually do it. But people like the cutesy wootsy stuff. This, a little brass container, I could use this for storage or to sell it, or I could even put some of my, my succulents in there. But that, again, was free. Again, free. You can't beat it. Um, I got this dog planter. Isn't he adorable? He was only $2. I got a stack of old books. I think he had tubs and tubs and tubs, so I picked these out. A few of them, I think, are German. Uh, and they are quite old, so here's what they look like. So I paid like a dollar each. And there's that one. Oh, just look at the design. On that love it uh, what is this one her first little garden and that adorable and then this one in that beautiful oh so these I will look up and may just put them in my booth it's nice because you can like have a few in your stand or in your booth and then you can put stuff on top of it to kind of give it a you know a vignette or a you know a staged type of thing so that's probably what will happen to these only found one little piece of fabric not much in there but i think i was buying other stuff and she said i ah, just take it so again free i'll do it all day long this has a really cool little latch on it it is a i believe it's a cigar there it is um, yeah Benson and Hedges uh, so I do sell cigar boxes in my booth especially these ones that have the little cute little latch on it and I only paid a quarter um, I don't sell cigar boxes very fast but they're kind of nice to have and again it's a nice you know you can you know stage your little area and it looks nice in the booth and you can sell it so that will go to my booth. This, I tell you, that the little metal uh, octopus that I got before sold really fast. This one was two, and it is adorable. Yes, two, four, six, yes, and it actually has legs. Eight legs, and if it has six, then it's a squid, just like Squidward. Did you know that? <laughs> Again, this is the time of year I find uh, candles. This one says Garden Celebration. Oh, it smells so Mm. So I picked it up and I said, oh, how much? She goes, oh, I already burned that one. How about 50 cents? I'm like, yes. <laughs> so that might go in my kitchen. I love candles. I burn them all the time. It's just something I enjoy, and I am not going to pay a million dollars for them. Forget it. Uh, my daughter has these on her car. Um, hello. <laughs> these are great little stick-on mirrors to go on your side-view mirrors. 
for your blind spot. Uh, paid a dollar for both of them. I think sometimes the sticky just gives it up. <laughs> and especially around here where we get all four seasons good and strong. So the adhesive goes through a lot between freezing in the winter and then things falling off the car because it's 95 degrees outside. So yeah, I said, I'll give these to you. You can just put them in your uh, glove box. When one falls off, there you go. This is the most adorable oil can that was ever invented. And I think it is just absolutely adorable. Now, would you, oh, it's Singer. You know why it's small? Because this is for a sewing machine. I was just taken with it. It's just so cute. Can an oil can be cute? Yes, yes it can. I paid a dollar for it. So again, I will look that up. If it's not worth anything, then it will go into my booth in the guy area. I'll probably just four or five bucks on that. These are so cool. My daughter is going to rip them from my hands. They look new, so somebody's producing these. Actually, it looks very, what's the word? Steampunk, but it is actually for a light and to see things very up close. Industrial purpose, circuit board. So this is for really, really small type of, you know, looking at stuff. And of course, this is made in China. It was probably wasn't that much new, but it is darn cute and very cool looking. So I don't know, that's very adorable. And I might just need that. I tell you, my eyes are getting so bad. It ain't even funny anymore. I got a leather uh, case. I didn't know, I thought it was maybe for I don't know. Remember the old days when your parents would carry around cigarettes? But those are usually smaller, and they would have a little pocket for your lighter. But this is for, looks like pencil cigars. It's probably for cigars. Yeah, so it's not that old because it has the Velcro, but darn, isn't it cute? So this is what you put. This is a good loop for your belt because you can't be without your cigars, you know. It is leather, and it was only a dollar. Um, I'm looking around the table. Oh, this. What else? What else? Are you shouting at me? You forgot that! I know. Uh, I know. This video is going to be long. I hope you uh, can hang in there. Oh, the 75 cents Ritz Crackers tin. I thought that was kind of cool. Somebody might like that. Uh, I think that's the only thing I missed. Everything else is right here in front of me. Uh, they had these for 50 cents each, <clears throat> and these are old, so I think there's two of those, because I'm always redoing little pieces of furniture, or I need just something on it, and so those, and then this one is glass, isn't that cool? And then this one is so cool, but I think it's newer. This was probably like a Hobby Lobby one. $12, $2.95. It is a snail. And isn't it the cutest thing you've ever seen? Ugh. So a little brass drawer pull snail. Oh, thought he was so cute. These were in a bin for a dime each. So I got, what, 20 40 60 80 a dollar. I just thought they were adorable. I remember these from when I was a kid. Remember the smiley face? Oh, it was big in the 70s, early 80s, late 70s. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I'll just throw these in with my uh, mystery bags, and I'll just throw those in because those are cute. So there's that, and these. So I thought I saw these, and I'll put these in my vintagey, like kitcheny area. I just love them. If they could tell stories of all the things they've baked and cooked over the years, they just touch me in some way. It reminds me of my grandma. So I took this up, and I was like, "Oh wow, a dollar! That's pretty good." And she's like, one, two, three. And I'm like, oh, oh. She goes, oh, these are a dollar each. And I, I just looked at her like, for a measuring cup set? And she goes, eh, just do two for the stack. And I went, mm. She goes, you know what, just take them for a dollar. <laughs> so, yeah, because I'm like, well, when you see that, unless you see the edges, she started counting. And I'm like, I ain't paying $5 for all those, but. We'll see. I don't know how much they're worth, but uh, even just a little fake plant or something in them. Oh, gosh, they're just so adorable. I like old scruffy stuff. The older and scruffier you get, the more you like old scruffy stuff. Isn't that true? I think the only thing I didn't do, and this is so cute. Let me set it down here. I don't think, yeah, it's just a ribbon. 
but this was a dollar. It is a little Hershey's Kiss. Oh, it was actually made by them uh, with a little with a little uh, clock. So I'll have to replace the battery because that just pops out. Maybe I'll make Mr. Pudgy Picker do that. So, but that's too cute. I thought that would be adorable, even if somebody just put it on their shelf. But that was only a dollar. So I believe that is all that I got. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be a million, million minutes long. I'm at 31 minutes now, and I don't know how much my speed will be. But you know what? We're going to put it all in one big fat video because we're Pudgy Picker, and we do what we want on this channel. And I hope you enjoyed this. 59 garage sales. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to beat that. 56 was hard to beat. 59. Uh, the I was in a, and if you're wondering how I got so many, there was a neighborhood garage sale. And the neighborhood is very kind of condensed. So I could go and just go and go and go. <clears throat> so that really helped. They had, it was on Friday and Saturday. I would say like 80% of them were either uh, Friday or Friday and Saturday. So I went on Friday because I didn't go Thursday because no garage sales, barely any, not worth going out, especially with gas. I, I barely used any gas and I got all this done. The actual official time was nine to three. Um, I could have gotten a few more because I still wasn't pooping out, if you can believe it, but everybody was starting to button up because a lot of people, of course, were going to do the next day. So a few people stayed open later, and that's how I got to 59 garage sales. Oh, that will go down in history for me. I don't know. What's your record for going to garage sales? Um, that's, uh, that's a lot, 59. <laughs> so if you think about it, I literally got in my car, get in and out of my car almost 120 times. Now, if that ain't exercise, I don't know what is. So again, I appreciate you tuning in. And if you are still here, you are the real MVP Pudgy Picker peeps. And I appreciate you tuning in and looking at all my goodies that I got. Um, please check out my, I have my snail mail and my eBay store and my other social media down in the description box. And uh, I don't know, I guess I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna go put my feet up, I'm tired. So until next time, get out there, find some good stuff, and I will see you then. Until then, happy picking. Bye.